This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today, this is such a great fleet. It's probably my favorite fleet. I love the Topian Wars, and I love the old game by 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 Spartan Games. But when our good friends at, at War Cradle Studios took over, um, they upped the game. I didn't think anybody can take this and, and do it its justice, but... Uh, this is the Britannia Battle Fleet set. I'm working on this for a playthrough that we're going to do. Uh, you may have may have seen or may see uh, the terrain that I did for it already. Um, um, but I'm really excited to get this uh, in the ocean <laughs> and going your way. I'm going to show you quickly um, some quick steps on, on what I did to get the, these fleets where they are. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll come back and I'll give you my thoughts on this fleet. I want to get you caught Let's up to where we are because we don't want to make this a four and a half hour video. This is the resin. The resin is just absolutely beautiful and it, it, more detailed than I've ever seen on a lot of things. So what I did is I spray painted this with a gun metal. Then I took um, some desert oh, steel Allegiant drab and put it in the, the creases here. The gun metal was from Army Painter. Tremendous as always. Then I took um, some Mephiston red. And I just went along these borders here, uh, because in the front, uh, like, you see, like you'll see, and I'm going to show you, because we're going to try to mimic this here. Um, as you can see, there's the red. We're going to go with some copper. We're going to go with the gold, because the gold's really going to pop it. And then we're going we're gonna to do some washes over this, and boom, we're going to be off and running. We're going to dry brush outwards uh, to really bring this out. So I'm going to show you some of the steps here so you can do it yourself. Uh, like I said, it's just really, really simple things. You want to get the deck uh, a nice color. We're going to go over that with with, with a, a wash. And then we're going to go over the whole things with wash. And then uh, just watch what we do. Watch what we do here. Okay, the next thing I did here is I just took some of this nice Newell oil, if that's what you call it, and just really worked it into all the metallic here. Okay, and... I wanted to make sure I got a nice deep coat in here because we're going to bring this these ships outwards and really bring the metallic part of it uh, to light. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to actually work on the gold trim of these uh, ships, and that's what's really going to make this sh uh, these ships pop and then come out and then boom, we'll be off and running. Uh, we just got to let this dry, and then we'll be back, and I'll. I'll kind of show you what I do with um, the gold which uh, I believe I'll be using I think I have it right here available to me and uh, what I like to do and uh, I'm gonna stay within what I normally do and that's using a retribution armor which uh, really really works out well um, this uh, will go on there and then um, what I'm gonna do is all the trim and the flags and stuff like that and it's really going to make the red come out. So we'll do that. I'll show you how it looks when it's done. And then uh, and then we'll keep going. Okay, so we got the gold trim on here. As you can see, it's really going to make things pop. Um, one, one, one of the things that you want to do, and the nice thing about this, these are hollow, believe it or not. Um, putting them together is quite an adventure. But um, the thing that you want to do is you want to get this to this point and then you're going to take an Agrath Earth Shade or a nice brown wash and get the deck, the reds, and the and the golds, and then come back out with them. That's really going to help these beautiful, beautiful models pop. So um, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, there are some copper balls, ball in, um, um, areas like uh, these balls here. You know, I want to make those copper, those 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 units there. Uh, have a little copper in them and I think it, it'll help really pop out this 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 absolutely beautiful fleet so that's what I'm gonna do next and I'll show you what I did and and afterwards how it looks okay so then what I did is I took some Baldazar gold because it's just absolutely perfect to do this with and just highlighted a few of these areas up here um, 
some of the posts, some of the, uh, it looks like radar towers or whatever, some of the guns, and just brought that out just even a little bit more. Now I'm going to take some Agrath Earthshade, or I, th I may go with a Serpopsarium, and go over the reds and the golds and the coppers to kind of bring the highlight back into them, and then I'm going to bring some of this stuff right back out. Uh, so we're going to take some of this, and we're just going to go over it, and then we'll come back. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Um, what I finished off with is I took some Necron Compound and I went over and really brought the metal out. That's what I really wanted to do. Then I took some uh, Auroric Armor Gold from Citadel. Threw a bead in there to make sure that you mixed it up real good and then just went over the gold areas to make those pop a little bit more, as you could see. It really stands out and does a nice job. And then finally, um, I just uh, uh, I took some of this uh, it is Baldazar Gold for a little copper touch right on the top here and there we have our Britannia ships which are ready to go well uh, if you've seen this okay then you know that we are working on the Constitution which we did live on the channel on Saturday and you're probably seeing this Monday so um, I kind of went through and it showed you kind of everything and how you're going to want to get this stuff and put this together because it is a fantastic, wonderful, and perfect game that I absolutely really, really enjoy. It's one of my favorite sea games of all. So um, knowing that War Cradle Studios brought this fantastic set back and the nice thing about it is they have these beautiful boxes that everything comes in and everything you can just, it's easy to store because it all, your whole thing fits right into the box here. And boom, there you have it folks. Everything that you painted, put easy to put away and know what you have and bring it out and just go at it so that's it for now let's go up top get my final thoughts on the britannia battle fleet set for the topian wars from war cradle studios take it easy everybody wow you know the the thing about it is and it's the part that i didn't show you it's kind of hard to put this stuff together um, with big mitts like this and when you got to hold the sides and stuff like that but when it goes together it's absolutely perfect um, um, uh, the the, um, the cruisers can be a pain in the neck to put together um, but the, the heavy class battleship that is some of the best resin I've ever seen uh, the uh, frigates uh, are absolutely just a, a breeze to put together and they're a lot of fun to paint I had a great time with it. I took some gunmetal, primed it, and then from there built my way out and really got a fantastic feel to this fantastic game. Um, this is a great uh, fleet. You're going to want to pick this up. Um, it really does. You're going to be able to download the instructions on their website, and then also their battle cards are also on their website. So make sure that you get get those. You can print them out. You can draw on them. Once you print them out, make a couple of copies. That's what I do, and I put everything into a folder, and then you're off and running. Uh, you're going to need the starter set to to play this, but when you're going to play it, you're not going to regret it. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's a fantastic game, and, and we're going to be showing it to you here very, very soon in a live playthrough. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com.